Hey friends, thanks for joining me again. Okay, so after Brian and I came back from Vegas, uh, we went to, I mean straight away, we came back Saturday and on Sunday we went to an estate sale. And these are a few things that I brought back from the estate sale. Now, this is not everything, because some things are, you know, whatevers. But these are, these are just a few things. Plus, I don't want to show you 20 different items because I'm trying to keep my videos around 10 minutes. Okay? So, anyway. Um, before we get started, let me just tell you, if, if you've ever gone to Vegas or if you ever go, if you do not have good shoes, you will die. Okay? You walk so much. So when I came home, exhausted. And then we, of course, went to this estate sale. So here we go. First thing is this really beautiful, um, it's called a Price and Kensington Victoriana pitcher. Now it's a small pitcher, so it's more of the little novelty size, and it's the cobalt blue and white. And I know there are a lot of blue and white lovers out there. And this is um, P and K, it says on the bottom, and it says Victoriana, England. It even has a little cute little England sticker. But here's the thing about this vase, or picture, excuse me, is that I can tell when they were glazing this picture. There's a few little places here where I can see where, the, where it didn't get all of the picture. There's a few little bisques. I could feel the bisque spots underneath where the glaze kind of puddled up. Um, it really gives it a lot of character. I don't know if they did that on purpose or if, you know, it just happened that way. But it does give it a lot of character. It's a really cute little picture, and I'm going to put this in my antique booth, I do believe. So I paid... $2.50 for this. We went on the half price day. They had it Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the sale, and we went on 50% off. Or maybe they had it Saturday and Sunday, I don't remember. Well, you know, I was on an airplane Saturday napping. And I look terrible right now because I've been napping. I, I'm still trying to catch up on my sleep. Anyway, okay, next thing. Okay, next thing. Oh, I did find these. I found these. Now, I'm going to see if I can pronounce this correct, correctly. Hammaker and Schlemmer, Wall Street, Stock Market, Lowball Glasses. And these are vintage glasses. And I did actually find three of them. Um, but this one has a tiny little, I mean tiny little chip right here and that makes me sad because I bought a set of three but I'm gonna end up trying to sell a set of two but these glasses are now I've seen on eBay where they they mentioned they were from the 60s the 70s the 80s so, but, but I know they're vintage and it has 22 karat gold and black and it has the bull and the bear. The bull is in gold, the bear is in black. And the ticker tape, the ticker's all around. It looks like they're, it's falling like ticker tape, you know? Now, some of the, some of the, um, I guess the 22 karat gold, as you know, when you're using something over time, it wears off a little bit, and that's what's happened here. These glasses obviously, obviously did not sit on a shelf and collect dust. They were used, so that's a good thing, you know? Um, so, lowball glasses for your little drinky drinky, your little cocktail in the evening. Okay, so I'll have those, and I am going to, I'm going to put those in my booth also. And I bought those for $2.50, you know. I was sad that I'm, I'm not going to be able to use that one, but that's okay. Let's move on. Okay, so I did find just cute little things for the booth. A couple of things that I can throw in there. This is just a little marble bear. Okay, very cute. I think I paid a dollar for that. And um, the 
these are Mundial scissors. Um, they're dressmaker scissors. It's the number 406. They're eight inch scissors. And I like to sew, so I'm gonna keep these at the house and use them. They stick a little bit here, so I'm gonna have to get that taken care of so they can be smooth, but they're very sharp and I was very happy to get those. I'm keeping those at the house and I think I paid about $2 for those. Not a bad deal, because those, those are you know quite expensive scissors. Okay, another little novelty item that I purchased just so I can put in the, the booth is this cute little teapot. Guys, it's like, it's, it looks like a little handbag and the little handle here is connected by maybe some type of twine and it, I mean it can fold over backwards um, but it's in great shape. Um, I don't think there's, I've got it, I've got it stuck here with the, uh, the little tag that they put on it just so I can keep the top on but it's in really good condition and it's just a cute little small to have in my booth. And it's from the Alco Industries. It's not super, you know, it's it's not anything I'm gonna get like 200 bucks for, obviously. It's just a cute little item to have. And a, now, is this cheetah or is this leopard? I mean, let me know in the comments below, okay? All right, okay. Let's move on. All right, so the next item I want to show you is this gorgeous plate platter. I'm calling it a little platter. And this is uh, made in Japan. And let me get my little notes here. It's from Uttermost. I think that's who made it. It is a beautiful cobalt looking blue. It is of a fish. It has beautiful detailing here that I'm sure you can't really see, but even the little scales here, you can feel that they're raised a little bit. Now there's one scale that looks like it may be chipped. You may not be able to see that. It's not. It's just the way it's made. It is beautiful, handcrafted, I'm sure. Um, and it's from Japan. I think I paid about $2.50 for this, and I've got it already on sale in my eBay store. Okay, next, Brian found this old, or should I say vintage, Polaroid camera. It's the Polaroid 600 LAN camera, and it says it's the 640, I guess that's the, the the type it is. Um, now we've had a Polaroid camera before in our eBay store and someone snatched it up really quickly. So there are a lot of, you know, camera stores or um, camera collectors out there that like these. And uh, it's just quick money, basically. You put it in your store and someone snaps it up really quick. So um, they can either use it as parts. I'm obviously not gonna check it. I'm not gonna test it because I'm not gonna go out and buy the film. I don't even know if they make the film for this, I don't know. So, and the last one, we didn't test it either and they said, we'll take it. So someone out there may need this for parts or wanna restore it to its glory days of taking pictures in the backyard, turning cartwheels, ching, ching. Anyway, I think that's it. That was fast. Let me double check. Glasses, picture, blah, 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 blah. Got it. Okay. So that was fast. Anyway, so thank you for joining me. And I think my two items here that I'm going to have in my eBay store, boop, boop, those will be listed. And <coughs> whenever I do start, um, my um, antique store in July. I'll let you guys know about that. I may do a video about setting up and blah, blah, blah. Okay. So thanks for joining me and I'll see you next time. Bye.